Today, I'm going to take this website. I'm going to review it, tell you what I like, what I don't like, and then we're going to rebuild it to make it better. So this is going to help you if you're building websites on high level, you're not getting any clients, or you're not sure where to start. Maybe you're overwhelmed. You don't know why your websites look boring. If you're new, my name's Rico, and I run a Go High Level website agency. I help businesses that run on high level get better websites that get them more clients. So if you are a business owner that uses high level, but you don't have time to build a new website, you're focused on selling or operations. I would like to learn more about your business and see how I can help you get a website that gets you more clients. With that, let's start reviewing this website. So I'll scroll all the way to the top. Now you may be wondering, how do I know that this website was built on high level? I can take the URL, go to this site called buildwith.com pays the URL. And in this case, it tells me that the website was built on high level. So I know that I'm going to be building or rebuilding his website using the same tools that he used. Now going back to the website right here, this is what the homepage of the website looks like. The first thing that I noticed is that there's a lot jumping at me right now. I see that there's this white space on the sides of the navigation bar, which makes me feel like the website is not finished yet. I also see that this text right here on the actual navigation bar is hard to read. And the logo here has like a white background. So it just makes it look clunky, just a little bit cheap. The problem that I noticed with this website is that he's also talking to different prospects and talking about different services. So it just makes it more confusing because they're talking about home renovation businesses and realtors. It's just not clear. And at the same time down here, you'll see that there's like a bunch of all the different services. So the main thing is looking at his website, I do not know exactly what he does. I get an idea, but it's not super clear. Since it's not super clear as a prospect, I wouldn't be prompted to book. Something else that I see is that there's no clear button here to get in touch, not up here or not even here in the main section. I know there's one down here, but we're going to make it again easier for prospects to get in touch if they're interested or ready to learn more about the services that we offer. Coming back to the copy right here, you see that you're talking to home renovation businesses, but also realtors. Let's say that I am a realtor and I am interested in more leads. I don't care or may not know too much about A-B testing, CPL, CPC, click-through rate. For me, what I care is, can I get buyer leads? Can I get seller leads? Can you get me appointments? Can you get me qualified leads? So there's just a lot of technical information here and they're not speaking the language of the ideal prospects, which further makes that disconnect between this page and the customer wanting to book. Again, lots of text here, like more borders. See like a border here, border here, border here, border. So there's like a lot of borders that we want to make it clear and clean. A lot of text. These images, I think we can make them better as well. Now I'm making this video not to criticize this website, but actually to help him and hopefully help you as well if you're watching this video to make better websites on go high level. So now we see that there's the services. So initially in the top section, he was talking about qualified leads for realtors and home renovation businesses. Now he's talking about websites, SEO optimization, social media marketing, advertising, copywriting. So the main problem here is speaking to too many avatars or too many ideal customers and too many services. So if I have a specific problem, I am a realtor and I want leads, I see that there's like websites, all of the different stuff. It might confuse me or might think, oh, these guys might not just be for me. Let's say I was still interested and I go ahead and see, okay, what sort of offers this person or this agency has. I see that there's four offers right here, but the problem is there's a lot of text, too much information, prices everywhere, and then different buttons with different colors. This is not making the website look consistent and it's confusing for the prospect. So the agency might want to help a lot of people with different things but the fact that there's just so much going on it's confusing and as a prospect even right now i don't know where to click if i was to get in touch with him so with that let me go back to high level and we're going to start a website from scratch i like to build my websites from scratch as opposed to templates because i like to have full creative control and be able to make tweaks and build my website exactly how i want to do it and not with a pre-made template so let's go to new website we'll start from blank now for this video i noticed that this agency is trying to help realtors and home renovation businesses with appointments uh web design seo social marketing we're just going to focus on one target avatar and one service to make it more clear and be able to book more people that are actually looking for our services so we'll do realtors looking for leads so here we'll create a website or we'll create a new page so let's just do home page and then we'll start from blank Okay, so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add a full width section where I'm going to have the navigation bar. So we'll do that right here Add a one column row and as a element, we'll do a navigation bar. So let's just click that right here. I'm going to get rid of this right here for the image. What I'll do is I'll add my own and go down on this tab to where I can select the image and then I will select mine, which in this case would be this one right here. It's hard to read. 
but we're going to change the background color. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'll change it to this black right here and make this transparent just because it will match a lot better. You see that this is hard to read, which is kind of like the same problem that they had right here. So let's just fix that right now. We'll click on the elements right here, scroll all the way down to where we can fix them. And for the actual colors, we'll make it so that it's white. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get rid of all of this right here and just have like one or two, same as what he had on his website. Now, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna add a new section and I'll add the main hero section right here where we'll put who we help and what we can do for them, make it very clear when somebody lands on the website to know exactly what we do and how we do it. So let's just do it right here, click this, we'll add a headline. And for here, we can do get exclusive seller leads in your area. And the reason why is I'm making it as specific as possible. So if a realtor is facing the problem of not having exclusive the other seller leads in their area. When they see a website that's talking specifically to them with their specific terms, they'll be more likely to book and want to know more just because they'll be curious to know if this agency can solve that problem or that pain point for them. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a sub headline and here I will write who I help. So I'll be realtors, put this up here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm also going to add a button. So let me just do that right now and I'll make this bigger. So let's just do 70. And that's too big. Let's do 60. Okay. And this one we could do a little bit bigger, maybe 32. Now for this button, we can do a call. Now we want to make it so the call to action is clear and we're consistent. I think in here we had different calls to actions like text, let's chat, see details and contracts, so or different things. So we're going to make it so that there's just one call to action. So let me just go back here. And in this case, it will just be book call. Let me just give some styling to that button now. So what we'll do is first of all, we'll do it so that it's a nice blue. And the way that I find my colors is that I go to this cool site called colors.co. The cool thing is that as you hit space, you can get different color palettes. So let's say there was a specific color that I like. I can just go ahead and click that color and add it. So now let's say I wanted to get this color. I can just copy this, go back to high level, click here, and then paste the color right here. I'll add the color. And now that's the color of my button. So the main colors for my website in this case will be black, white, and this blue right here. So we're going to keep it consistent and avoid having too many colors and too many things that may just take away from the design or distract people because there's so much going on. So let me just go back to high level. We'll give this button some style. So we'll just go to advanced and now we'll make it so that the corners are a little bit more round to make it more friendly. So let's just click 10 and then you see that the button's right there. I want to make my button a little bit longer. And the way to do that is click on the button, go again to advanced and then here where it says horizontal space, instead of hitting inherit, you can do 40, 30 to make it a little bit longer. Let's do 30. You see that the button is now a little bit longer to my preference. Now I want to make this section a little bit bigger right now, actually. So I'll just go back to 70. What I'll do is I'll also take this and then add some margin so that the button is not as close. Let's do 20 and let's do 10 actually. Now for this font, what I'll do is I'll make it bold and then I will also go ahead and change it to the color that we just picked. So this blue right here. And now you see that it's a little bit kind of hard to read. So maybe I'll just go back to black. So again, a lot of when we're building website is making sure that what we build is easy for prospects to read, easy to get in touch, easy for them to know what we do. So you want to make sure the website that you build on high level is clear and helps the prospect know exactly what you do and makes it easy for them to get in touch with you and easy for them to trust you. So that's what we're going for on this website. I want to make it so that this area is a little bit bigger as well. So let's just click right here. We'll click on the padding and I want to make it so there's a hundred pixels on the top and also at the bottom. And there is that main section where we say who we help, what we can do for them and how they can contact us. So even what I'll do here is get five to eight exclusive seller leads per month. So now what I've done is not only tell them what they can get, but also how many. Now with my messaging, I'm trying to speak specifically to realtors and I want to talk their specific terms. So you talk about seller leads, buyer leads. So we want to make sure that we're speaking their terms and not just throwing terms such as in this case, I think we were talking about uh, CPL, CPC, like they don't need to know this at this point or at all. What we want the realtor to do on the website is for them to be curious enough to know what we do, how we do it, and for them to go ahead and book themselves into the calendar. So let me go back to high level. Now what I want to do is click on this navigation bar right here and remove some of the space. So let me just do that right now, 10, 10, and then 10 here. So just make it a little bit thinner so that it doesn't look as big. Now let's say I wanted to add a button here as well. The easiest way to do this would be to duplicate this header section right here. 
and then get rid of the navigation bar. So we have that open space for us where we could just add a button. Instead of adding a button and having to style it from scratch again, what I like to do is I like to take my buttons, duplicate them, and then move them all the way to the top right here. And then I will just uh, align it so that it's like this, a little bit more clean and easier for prospects if they were interested to book a call. Now also what I want to do is add a sub headline here. So what I've written here is book a call to see how we've helped all the realtors get leads on autopilot. So it's again, things that we can do with our copy to pique our curiosity. This copy right here is not perfect. I'm just doing it for the video so you get a bit of an idea, but it's a little bit better of what we started with right here i'll add some space here as well so let's just do 20 so we'll hit save now i'll click here i'll add a full width section and i want to make it so that it's a section with two columns so now we're going to add some stuff some text some images and also call to actions so as they scroll down they kind of like start reading finding more about what we do and convincing themselves so that they can go ahead and book that call so we'll click here and add a image and then here i will add a headline and a call to action as well. So a button. And what I'll do for that is click this one, duplicate it. As I've mentioned before, we've already given it some styles and just put it here. Now on this website, we want to make sure that the prospect can see themselves. So what we're going to do is instead of adding some photos of like code and a bunch of stuff that might not be relevant for realtors, we're going to just add the dream outcome in mind, which would be getting more clients and being successful. So let's just go back here, click here and add an image. Now, the reason why I'm adding this image as opposed to adding some sort of like image with code is is we want to make it so that when a prospect lands on the page, in this case, a realtor looking for or wanting to get more leads so that they can see themselves and know that, okay, what these guys do and who they help is people like me and it's exactly for me. So with that in mind, they might be a little bit more prompted to actually go ahead and book that call. Here, we can just write a little bit more about the desired outcome. Not worrying too much about how we're going to do it. Like, oh, we're going to run Facebook lead forms. We're going to have like appointment service, blah, 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 blah. We're going to do A-B testing of creatives and copy. We're not going to bore them with that. We're just going to talk about the outcome. So again, kind of like that saying says, sell the destination, not the plane ticket. So that's kind of what we're doing right now. So in this case, we're tired of not knowing where your next deal is coming from. We're here to help. So again, we want to make it so that we show that we can help them and solve their problems. What I'll do for this in terms of the alignment is I'll put in here and I'll do the same with the button. I want to give myself some more space between the headline and the button. So let me just do that right now. I'll click this right here and then make it so that it's italic like this. Problem is this blue is kind of hard to read or I'm not liking it too much. Part of what I do when I design websites on high level is constantly iterate and see what are things that I can do in the moment that as I'm building websites to make them even better. I see that this blue is not working well. So what I'll do is I'll like a different color and try to get something that works a little bit better. Maybe a darker blue like this. So I'll copy this color and then go back to uh, high level and then change it so that this color will be a bit more uh, user friendly. Now, what I want to do is for the effects, I want to go to advanced. I want to make it so that when I hover over the button, it will elevate. It's just something that I like to do with all of my buttons. So let me just do that right now as well. Now, what I'll do next is instead of having different services like websites, social media, marketing and whatnot, what I'll do instead is just have the one service so that they know a little bit as to what we do. So we want to add information just enough so that it piques their curiosity and prompts them to book a call. As for the different prices and all of this stuff right here, I don't think this would be of relevance. I think this have it on the sales school. So I'm not going to add this information right here. I don't want to confuse prospects with different options, different prices, and just make it be confusing. What I can do is just change this navigation bar instead of black to that blue so that we just have less colors. I like that actually. And I'll click the button and I'll make it so that the button is white and the text of course is hard to read but i can just change that right here so that it's uh, black or possibly even of that same blue uh that looks nice what i'll do for the border is make it so that the border is black so again as i design the website i like to keep iterating to see what works better and what are things that i can do so that it's a more highly converting website so that's kind of what i'm doing right now just going through the website and then making changes it makes it so that when we make all of these small tweaks we make it so that there's a website or a landing page 
page that actually helps us get more clients because it is cohesive, it is intuitive, it is clear, and it builds trust with the prospect. So which is kind of what we're doing right now. And then what I'll do for this section is I will add a three column section and we'll kind of do it in three steps instead of having a bunch of different words here, which might not uh, mean that much to the prospect. So let me just do that right now. I'll start by adding another section where I would add a button. So let me just do that right now. Drag this button that I've duplicated here and then put it in the center. Now for the three column section, actually what I'll do is I'll do one and then I'll duplicate it so that it has the right style. I'll go to advance. I'll add a full width border. I'll do it so that the edges are round. So let me just do that right now. And we'll make it so that it's let's say 25. The border is a bit too dark, like it's not it's not friendly. So I'll just click this one right here. It's a little bit smoother. You see kind of what that looks like. And we'll add an image. We'll add a headline. And then we'll add a paragraph. Okay, so I'm building the sections right here, and I took some time writing some copy. What you see though is okay. Let me save right here before I lose my progress, like I did. A little bit earlier now i added this headline right here how we help you find homeowners that are ready to sell in your area so again we want to speak in their own terms we want to make it sure that we convey that we know or we understand their niche and instead of saying our services which has a bunch of information that might not be relevant to them we instead present the same information in a way that's easier for them to consume and piques their curiosity so in this case how we help you find homeowners that are ready to sell in your area instead of saying we run facebook ads we run a b testing we take a look at different metrics such as blah, blah, blah. Instead of having all of that, we just say we advertise for you, we qualify for you, and we book leads for you in your calendar. What I'm going to do now as well is add some icons. And let me just do that right now. Now, this is a lot easier to consume than something like this, which has a bunch of information and the prospect might not know exactly how this agency helps them. So in this case, it's just much more clear. What we'll do as well is add some margins on the side so that the boxes or the tiles are looking a little bit nicer. So that looks a lot better. Now, let me preview what we have right now. And let's compare it to what we started with. As you see right here, this is a little bit more clear. It's easier for people to understand, okay, what is it that these guys do? Who do they help? How do they help them? Now, there's a lot more things that I would do to make this website better. I have a bunch of other tutorials which I've covered in different videos. But at a simple glance, you see that just fixing the copy and the general layout of things, just fixing these two things can make sure that we have websites that convert more. And what I've seen happen to go high level users is that let's say they're running ads or they're trying cold DM or they're trying some sort of outreach method. When they get a prospect interested, they send them a link to a website that looks kind of like this. So that's when they see the drop off and they might think ads doesn't work or cold DM doesn't work. But the problem might be that the website that you're presenting to your ideal prospects is not speaking to them is not showing them how you can solve that problem for them it's not clear for them to get in touch with you and these are all things that just by making a few tweaks you can make it so that it's easier to make a website like this better if you are a business that runs on go high level and is struggling to get their website going maybe you don't have the time you don't have the expertise you're busy doing some other tasks for your business i would love to talk to you and see how i can help you solve that problem for you if this is you click the link in the description and book a call with me with that thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video